the ivy's uh, gotten a little bit crazy. So uh, needs a trim, which is what I've been doing to it today. Uh, it was the only thing holding the fence up though, albeit at a 45 degree angle. Not much of a fence though. There were a bunch of these pyramidalis cedar things holding the fence up for a while and holding the ivy up. But uh, we had some wet snow in the winter. Not this winter, the last winter. I don't get around to gardening as much as I should. And it basically collapsed everything. These things were already smothered, weren't getting enough light to live really. So uh, it's all coming down. I'm going to see if I can leave bits of it because I actually like this stuff. It has these lovely big black berries on it and uh, the insects love it too. Lovely buzzing around here late in the uh, fall. Scrawny little stuff like this is what I usually think of when I'm thinking of ivy. But this it's done a bit of growing. That's actually thicker than the trunks of some of the trees. It's killing. <laughs> I'll throw what I can down to the curb. Uh, but this green box is full. Oh, those bags are compostable, by the way. We don't just throw plastic bags in the compost or the yard trimmings without thinking about it. Oh, it's all been planned out by very clever people at the city. I ripped up a lot of the ivy that was ground cover here a while back, but it does, it does let the brambles and dandelions and, and thistles really thrive. They, they like to get that extra light. That's it. I'm shattered. It's time to go in. Three hours. Not even that much time. That's tiring.